Hi, Gary Klayman here. You know, I like things simple. I was taught a long time ago that 95% of the reason why someone's in a fear state is because they either are not going to get what they want or they're going to lose what they already have. I find that simple. What's a simple way to figure out if you're going to lease a car or not? Three questions. First one, are you buying new or used? If you're buying used, no lease. Second question, are you going to drive that car for more than three years? If the answer is yes, typically no lease. Third question, are you going to have a major lifestyle change in the next three years? You know, need a bigger car, different kind of car, moving around a lot. If that's true, no lease. Otherwise, let's do a lease. What is a lease? Well, it's an arrangement between the manufacturer or the financial institution and you to lease this car over a time period that's selected, typically three years, to then turn that car back in after three years. So how do you determine the payment? The payment is determined by the number of miles that you select that you're going to drive per year, typically 12 to 15,000 miles, and your credit rating and the residual value of the car set by the manufacturer based on those factors. Now, typically, it's 10, 20, 30 bucks less per month than a loan, so that's a consideration slightly there. But what are the pros and cons of a lease? Well, the first one is you get the full three-year manufacturer's guarantee from the automaker, which is great. Second, no major maintenance typically. That would be brakes and you know, new tires and that kind of thing. Third, you don't have to worry about the value of the car. You're going to turn it in at the end of the time period. And fourth, you're not locked into a 72-month long loan. So what are the cons? Well, the cons are, number one, it's tough to get out of. You sign a lease, you got to do it for three years. Second, you can't sell it. You, you, you can't trade it in. You basically have got a lease. You got to turn it back in at the end of the lease. Next, there's a penalty of 15 cents to 20 cents, typically, per mile that you go over on what you selected at the 12 or 15,000 miles a year. And that can be expensive. And finally, the fourth con is you're handcuffed by those numbers of miles. That guy was talking about the lifestyle change. So in review, go through the three questions. If you get to the lease, look at planning your situation, look at the pros and cons, make a decision to determine if you're going to do that.